what is going on guys welcome back in this video we're going to go over gta 5 online's weekly update so this weekly update will actually start today august 19th on a thursday and will end on the 26th and we'll have these money making methods and sales available to us again to the 26th if you don't mind before getting any further in the video please don't forget to drop a like on this video and consider subscribing if you want more gta 5 money making methods and weekly content so first things first we have this week's podium vehicle which is the dinka vito modern so this is their go-kart the modern version you guys can have an opportunity to win this for free it's nearing a million dollars so definitely go ahead and take your chance to win this especially for this week's money making method i think it would be definitely worth your time to try to win this vehicle and then we have some new content this week so our new content includes the fister growler so the growler is a brand new vehicle in gta 5 online coming in at 1.6 million dollars and can be purchased from legendary motorsports as well as we have this week's prize vehicle for the car meet and that is the vapid dominator gtt all you have to do is place top five in 10 los santos car meets series races to claim your prize so honestly already for the new content in the podium vehicle i think this week's off to a good start so that'll bring us to this week's sales of the week and for this week we actually have quite a few decent sales the one thing i noticed is we didn't have any sales on legendary motorsports so we're gonna head right on over to warstock cash and carry and that will bring us to one of the first sales i noticed and that was the pegasus torador for 30% off coming in at $2.5 million. So you guys can pick this up for a decent discount. And I highly recommend this. My brother highly recommended it to me and I got one and I really, really do enjoy this vehicle. If you already have a Stormberg and you're tight for cash, definitely hold off purchasing this until you're in a better position. But again, it's a definitely a nice addition to your vehicles. And then you can also pick up the Night Shark for 40% off from Warstock Cash and Carry, coming in at $747,000. A classic, it's still good to this day. I definitely recommend you have this vehicle in your repertoire of vehicles for combat. Definitely really quick and heavily armored, all around a decent vehicle. So on Warstock Cash and Carry, those are the two like regular type vehicles on Warstock and Cash and Carry. But then we have our service vehicle, which is the Kasatka, and this is on sale for 30% off. So if you don't already have one of these, this is a must have. This would be the first thing I recommend you guys purchase in general. So at $1.5 million, definitely go ahead and pick this up. At 30% off, this is again a quite a big discount and I highly recommend you guys go pick up this vehicle so you guys can run the KO Perico Heist as it is the best money making method in the game at this time. So that concludes our Warstock Cash and Carry sales, and we'll move on over to Southern San Andreas Superautos.com, which will bring us to the Futo GTX. And this is $1.1 million. And that's not what the trade price was. Trade price, you'll get it for $834,000. That's a 30% off discount. And this vehicle is really neat. Definitely a new addition to the game with the tuners update. Highly recommend you guys go ahead and pick this up. And then we also have the Dinka Vito Classic, which is on sale for $626,000. I know many of us will have it for free from previous update, but again, for 30% off, if you don't already have this, something you can consider adding. And lastly, we have the BF Weevil. Uh, this is again, 40% off. So this is one of the highest discounts of the week. So definitely something again, you might want to pick up. Don't really like the look of this vehicle, but for you that just want to add to your collection like me, definitely going to pick this up for the 40% off discount. And then last but not least, when we head on over to the aircraft site, uh, we have the Sea Sparrow on sale. This is kind of a random sale in my opinion, but 30% off for $1,000,000. $270,000 you guys can pick up this Sea Sparrow which again is kind of a pointless vehicle in my opinion but maybe there's some purpose to it that you guys might want to have or add to your collection but definitely again 30% off not bad so that will conclude our regular sales of the week that will bring us into our money making methods for the week and the money making methods for this week aren't bad at all so we have two times money in RP on the cart crash full auto now cart crash full auto is a new mode in gta 5 online and i did take the time to go play it it is a death match it's not going to be found in the adversary mode i know a lot of people are putting that information out there it is found in the death match category if you're having a hard time finding this two times money and uh rp money making method and honestly i actually really enjoyed it like i'm not gonna lie i had a lot of fun the carts are you know kind of all similar there's nothing like too advantageous to having a custom cart so that's nice so you're not throwing at a disadvantage there and then the actual abilities to compete 
are randomly spawned so you just get a question mark and you'll get a random spawned in thing and the whole goal is to survive the longest you get three lives and then last person left remaining after the three lives have been depleted from everybody wins first place and honestly i ended up winning first place my first time and i had a really good time it was just a fun time considering kind of a simple concept very similar to uh, mario kart battles or ctr battles uh, depending on what you grew up on playstation and nintendo very 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 similar to those and i enjoy playing those type of battle arena things with go-karts and i thought this was really fun so definitely we'll be playing this more this week especially for the payout the payout's not bad at all considering how much work that goes into it so coming in at first place I ended up getting $24,000 but to look at the RP on this at 11,300 RP this is very very good RP leveling up method if you guys are trying to rank up in GTA 5 online this is definitely the way to do it for this week and then we have exotic exports they're actually two times money as well took me forever to get this Corvette to the docks but we finally did it and yes we confirmed that it's two times money so instead of the $20,000 you'll get for the exotic export you will actually end up getting $40,000 per vehicle so that's a pretty decent payout you guys can take advantage of that if you guys are really into doing those exotic exports it's just nice to get that little bit of extra cash on the side and last but certainly not least they did something very unique I haven't seen in a very long time if ever two times money in RP on store hold ups now this was really really interesting so you can go up to a convenience store and rob the guy so what you can actually do is go up to the guy and pull out your weapon and it will intimidate him and you want to increase your intimidation by shooting around or you can just pull out an RPG and his intimidation bar will actually fill and he'll move a little bit faster he'll eventually get the money from the till and then bag it up and give it to you sometimes he'll try to defend himself and other times he'll just run and flee and you have to get the money out of the cash yourself it's best to actually just let him hand you the bag if you're going to do that and i know there is a little bit of an exploit where you can actually go up to him and wait for him to take the money out of the bag and hit him at the perfect time and you'll get double the money by doing that so you can actually technically get four times money if you learn how to glitch that properly but overall a pretty decent money making method for fun if you actually kind of do the math and think about it if you got 10 people to come help you you could do technically 10 convenience stores at once and at like around average 2500 per convenience store they can all send you the money through the interaction menu after you do the mission you can go to the interaction menu go to inventory then go to cash and then you can actually share a hundred percent of the money made from that convenience store so you could have a whole bunch of friends in the lobby going to one convenience store robbing it and sending you the money that might not be a bad idea i'd like to see someone do that for sure be very interesting see how the numbers work out for your money making method over an hour's time time so overall the best money making method for this week in my opinion is going to be the cart crash full auto I really enjoyed that I think that's the best RP and money making method in my opinion for overall fun and enjoyment and as well for payout as well so definitely take advantage of that two times money in RP activity so that will bring us to our last but not least final money making method of the week and that is this week's time trial you guys already know we're gonna do the maze bank arena time trial coming in at one minute in 17 seconds for the part time and it's at the bottom middle of the map so what you guys can actually go ahead and do is set your waypoint to where I have my waypoints up here near the little stadium and you guys can put your waypoint there so you guys can follow along so once you get your motorcycle or vehicle of your choice you're gonna want to set up the time trial and wheelie as much as possible if you're using a motorcycle like me I'm using the batty 801 fully upgraded you're gonna use this little dirt road over here to cut that little corner and then you're gonna just go on the straightaway it's actually one of the easier time trials to complete all you have to do is avoid traffic and signs pretty much just wheelie as much as possible to keep your acceleration and top speed up to the maximum amount and if you can't wheelie of course as always I always recommend you press forward that will cause your character to lean forward and keep his acceleration up really really similar to wheeling so definitely just take advantage of wheeling and using the top speed of the motorcycle the reason I like the Batty 801 is because it is super cheap and it's super mobile and has a decent top speed and the handling on it and brakes are actually fairly good as well it's overall a good well-rounded vehicle 
vehicle and I highly recommend you guys use it for this time trial. Um, you can get it from Southern San Andreas who brought us .com for $15,000 and you guys can go ahead and get the upgrades on it. Mine's fully upgraded so just keep that in mind. You'll notice I'm still wheeling, trying to wheelie when going up the mountain. It might be hard to see but I am still trying to do that to keep my main top speed. And you see I'm already getting the blinking red but I haven't quit. Just because it's blinking red doesn't mean you should quit. You should look at the time real quick and you'll see you have tons of time left. I beat this time trial in a minute and 15 seconds leaving me about two seconds left definitely a great way to make some money at a hundred thousand dollars for less than what two minutes work definitely recommend you guys go ahead and try this i did get it on my first time so if you liked the video again please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching